Good morning. Today we will study about HSAB concept. HSAB concept or HSAB principle. It is very very important because many questions were asked in JAM, even NEET, JEE, and also in uh, GATE, KSAR, etc. It was proposed by this simple rule was proposed by Pearson based on the stability of the complexes formed between metal ions and ligands um, or cations and anions. Okay, what does it mean? HS, hard soft acid bases. Hard soft acid bases. Now, what are acids? What are acids? Metal ions are, according to Pearson, metal ions are uh, acids. Metal ions are acids. They are classified into two types. Uh, Pearson proposed a simple empirical rule based on the experimental observation of the stability of the complexes formed. Okay. According to Pearson, metal ions are classified into two types. Class A and Class B. Class A metal ions are called hard acids. Class B metal ions are called soft acids. Now, what are hard acids? For example, alkali metal ions, alkaline earth metal ions. Especially, lighter transition metal ions present in the left hand side of the periodic, uh, periodic table. Left hand side of the periodic table. They are uh, in the, of the 3D series. Transition metal, 3D transition metal ions. They are of lighter transition metal ions. Okay, now what are the characteristic properties of um, hard acids? What are the characteristic properties? Hard acids are cations are of smaller size. They are of smaller size. So, uh, on the contrary, soft acids or cations are of larger size. They are heavier metal ions. They are heavier metal ions. They are lighter metal ions. And they possess Hard acid possess high charge and high oxidation number. For example, titanium 4 plus, zirconium 4 plus, and this is uh, 2, 4 plus, vanadine 4 plus. They are of high charge and high oxidation number. Here, they are of lower charge and uh, they possess lower charge and uh, lower oxidation number. For example, copper plus, Mg plus, Au plus, thallium plus. Okay, you have thallium 3 plus. Uh, but it is in thallium plus, mercury plus. Okay, now they are not easily, these cations, uh, hard acids are not easily polarizable. They are easily polarizable. What, are, what is polarizable? I have explained in Kajal's rule. If you go back and see the video, Kajal's rule video, you will understand. And also I will tell you, here, hard acids, this is hard acid, the electron cloud is rigid. Electron cloud is rigid, whereas electron cloud is distorted. Electron cloud is spherical, it is not distorted. Here, the electron cloud is easily distorted in the presence of anion. In the presence of anion, it is distorted. It is not. So, easily polarizable. Okay, now some examples H plus, lithium plus, alkali metal ions, lighter alkali metal ions, lighter alkali metal ions, BF3. Aluminium 3 plus, gallium 3 plus, indium 3 plus, titanium 4 plus, zirconium 4 plus, vanadine 4 plus, CO2, AlCl3, HX, etc. HX means H plus only. And soft acids, examples are Cu plus, Ag plus, heavier uh, metal ions and uh, metal ions in the right hand side of the series, 3D uh, series, for example, Cu plus, uh, mercury, platinum 2 plus, Palladium 2 plus, Thallium plus, PH3, Thallium 2 plus, I2, Br2, Br plus, I plus. What are borderline uh, metal ions? They exhibit both hard and soft uh, acids behavior. They are intermediate, they are like intermediate between the hard acids and soft acids. For example, Zn2 plus, Copper 2 plus, Bismuth uh, 3 plus, Lighter 2 plus, uh, Tannus. NO plus SO2, SO3 is highly oxidized, so higher oxidation number and it will belong to hard acids, okay. So lower oxidation number then it will be borderline, 
Now, what are food as its uh, hard bases and the soft bases? Similarly, bases are classified into two types, class A and class B. For example, OH minus, F minus, NH3, water, water H2S, R2S, RSS, and I minus. If you look at the examples, the donor atoms are electrodegated. The donor atoms are electrodegated. If you see here, donor atoms are lower electrodegated. Here, donor atoms are lower, more high electrodegated. Here, donor atoms are sulfur, sulfur, I minus, or lower electrodegated. And hard bases, hard bases are, uh, they are not polarized. They, they, they possess low polarizability. Whereas they are highly polarized, for example, I minus, I minus the other will be I C S B. So it will be easily polarized. For minus F minus, it is not polarized. The electron cloud is distorted. That means it is highly polarizable. Okay, highly polarizable. And the examples are in this room, amines, ammonia, amines, uh, hydrazine, urea, or O H, because the electron pair. The electron pair is donated, donated by oxygen, it is more electronegative. Uh, oxygen is here, the electron pair is donated by this, more electronegative. And CO3 2 minus, uh, Cl minus, NO3 minus, uh, sulfate, I am, uh, higher oxidation state. If they are in the lower oxidation state, for example, SO3 2 minus borderline, here, SO2 borderline. Okay. So, and uh, Examples for soft bases are RNC, cyanide, iso thiocyanide, carbon monoxide, amines, benzene ring. Benzene ring are pi electron donors. They have they are pi they have six pi electrons. Okay, so they are electron rich. They are, therefore they are easily polarizable, um, easily high polarizability arenes, uh, for example, alkenes. Alkenes consist of uh, pi electrons, two pi electrons. So you can form pi bond, phosphine, uh, pi electric phosphine, thiosulfide ion, I minus, R minus, and then phosphine. So borderline, SO3, 2 minus, NO2 minus, Br minus, and then aniline. For example, aniline, the donor atom is hydrogen. In this case, uh, this lone pair of hydrogen, one lone pair of hydrogen is delocalized into benzene ring. Into benzene ring, you can go uh, see the radio organic acids and bases. Therefore, this electron pair, this uh, lone pair of electrons, is not available for donation. Uh, bases are electron pair donors, but here it is uh, delocalized into benzene ring because of resonance structure. Uh, similarly, diphenyl, I mean, triphenyl, I mean, uh, three benzene ring, therefore, the uh, extent of delocalization will be more. The electron pair will be due delocalized into three benzene ring, therefore the, uh, the basicity is very very less uh, in this case, therefore borderline. Okay, whereas all in which two alkyl group is electron releasing, therefore it is uh, classified under all bases. Okay, now what is HSPB principle? What is the HSP concept? According to HSPB principle. Hard acids will prefer to interact with the prefer to interact with the hard base. Okay, according to HSPB principle, they prefer uh, hard acid will pre uh, prefer to interact react with the hard base. Similarly, soft acid will prefer to interact with the soft base. In the case of uh, an interaction between hard acid hard base. It will give ionic compound. For example, they are not polarizable. Therefore, they give, since they are not polarizable, they give ionic compound. Lithium plus, F minus, lithium fluoride, or the acid, or base, then it will get this is ionic compound. This is purely ionic compound because they, they are not polarizable. As you see, they are not easily polarizable. Whereas in the case of Ag plus, I minus, um, the soft acid, this is the Ag plus the soft acid, this is soft base, they prefer to interact, uh, soft acid interacts preferably with the soft base to give silver iodide, which is a purely covalent compound. 
this is purely covalent typical compound because they are easily polarizable. Again, you see the Sachar's rule. I have explained uh, the concept uh, polarizability, polarizable and polarizing power, etc. Please see the Sachar's rule video. Now you see uh, this is covalent compound, therefore it is insoluble in water. It is insoluble in water. Water is a polar solvent. Okay, now there are four important applications of what are the important applications of SFPLD principle? They will ask in competitive exam this, only this, and also this. What stability? It predicts the stability of the complex. It uh, tells tell us whether the complex form is stable or not. And the next one is course of reaction, whether the reaction will take place in the forward direction or it will take place in the reverse direction. For example, stability of the complex we will see A D plus plus 2 I minus is A D 2 I minus. In this case, A D plus is soft acid, I minus I2 I minus is soft to base. Therefore, soft according to HSAB principle, a soft acid prefers to interact with soft to base to give stable complex. Complex form is stable here. Whereas here soft acid F minus gives AD F2 minus and the soft acid interacts with this hard base, then the complex form is unstable. The complex form is unstable. Similarly, course of reaction, lithium iodide plus lithium fluoride gives lithium fluoride. Whether, uh, whether they will ask when you are in the examination uh, in gate or exam. Whether the reaction will go in the forward direction or in the reverse direction. Let us see each ion first. Lithium plus ion, hot acid, I minus, soft to base, lithium. Lithium is heavier, uh, heavier, therefore, soft acid, F, hot base, and therefore, it will give uh, hot acid, hot base. The interaction is stable, the interaction is preferred. This interaction is uh, preferred one. And similarly, this therefore the, therefore the reaction will take place in the forward direction because of the hot acid and the hot base uh, interaction or preferred soft acid soft base interaction is not preferred according to HSAB principle. And the third one is formation of metal carbonate. Remember, formation of metal carbonate. Metals are um, lower charge. Metals are zero charge. For example, nickel. Nickel forms nickel tetracarbonate. Nickel zero oxidation state. Therefore, uh, metal metals are classified as soft acids and soft to base CO. Soft to base CO. Therefore, metal carbonate, nickel uh, carbonate, is formed based on HSAB concept. Similarly, uh, ore formation of ores. Formation of ores. Cinnabar. Cinnabar is uh, formed between soft acid, soft to base. This is this is, uh, the ores occur HGS, not HGO. Similarly, calcium, calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate, calcium is hard acid. Carbonate, carbonate is hard uh, base. So hard acid prefers to interact with the hard base. Therefore. Um, Similarly, dolomite, NCCO3, NC2 plus CO3 minus. The formation of ores, uh, catalytic poisoning, I forgot to tell. Another one is catalytic poisoning, uh, can also be explained based on HSAB principle. We will solve a uh, uh, few more problems uh, asked in JAM, uh, GATE, uh, NEET, etc. in the next class. Thank you for watching.